Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another FIFA 22 video where today we are going to be going through a very simple but very effective attacking tutorial. And I wanted to start off with something quite simple. Obviously, it's early on in the game. So this is kind of aiming more towards people who are either new to FIFA or people who are just not very good and struggling. If you are someone who is a bit more advanced and you are quite a high skilled player, this probably won't be something for you because the tips we're going to be giving today are going to be relatively simple and not sort of the complex tips that we'll get into in a future uh, advanced tutorial when it comes to attacking so today we're just covering some of the more simple and basic things just kind of get you started in fifa and just some of the tips that i would recommend early on to people who just want to get going in this fifa so going straight into it without wasting any time number one tip is to play simple because you don't really need skill moves now Skill moves are not something that you really need in this FIFA. Of course, uh, skill moves have their place and definitely I still use a couple of skill moves, but generally you don't need skill moves in this FIFA. Skill moves are a little bit slower in this game and just the gameplay in general is a tad slower than it has been in previous FIFAs. So skill moves are not as necessary as maybe they have been in previous FIFAs. Of course, skill moves are effective in certain scenarios. I still use a couple of skill moves myself and that's something that we'll cover in a more advanced tutorial in the future. But just for people who are maybe just getting started or just maybe not very good, skill moves are not something you really need. Just keep it simple. Just, just really you want to focus on at the moment because the gameplay really suits this. You want to focus more on possession and passing and that's kind of what's really key at the moment and something that is quite... I don't want to say overpowered, but it is definitely probably more important than learning to do complex skills and sort of complex dribbling. If you can pass and move very, very well and just have lots of possession, retain the ball, recycle the ball, and just kind of frustrate your opponent. And people might say it's boring, this, that, and the other. But at the end of the day, if you want to win, you know, you've not necessarily got to play boring, but you've got to play what works. And at the moment, what works is just being clever on the ball, not trying to trying to force passes into places they don't need to go, and just keeping it simple. Just making sure you've got good high pass accuracy, not giving up silly possession. And when you get into the final third, you don't really need skill move. Just pass and move should be enough at the moment because passing and moving is very effective. The second tip that we're moving into kind of follows on from the first tip and it is to avoid always passing forwards. Now, what do we mean and what we're looking at? Well, this prime example is this first one we've got to look at. Now, you can see we're in the final third. He's got 10 men. He's managed to get someone sent off. Now, this is a prime example that a lot of people probably get into. We're with, here with Fred on the ball. A lot of people would look to try and drill that into one of the front three strikers that we've got, obviously, around the penalty box. Maybe drive it into the striker that we've circled that's on the penalty spot. That's where a lot of people would look to play this ball. But you can see there's a defender right in front of us. The chance of this being intercepted by him is very, very high. So the smart thing to do is to turn around and pass it backwards. You can see we've got two players at the top end of the pitch. We've got our winger and we've got our fullback overlapping. So that is the smart play, just to recycle the ball and not try and force the ball forwards. And one thing that I do see a lot of people do, is you can see we run it on, we do play it back to uh, Zachariah, who then finds it into Pepe. Pepe's now got the space to then go and turn and shoot and obviously get the goal. And one thing I see a lot of people doing is getting into these types of positions and trying to force forwards or they get onto counter attacks and they pass it forward so fast that the rest of their team hasn't got up the pitch because of how quickly they've gone from maybe the centre back to the midfield to the striker in three passes. And now they're, they're up the pitch, but they've got no support because the rest of the team hasn't actually had the time to catch up and get there. And that's why playing a little bit slower maybe and just allowing your team to move up is at the moment the best way to play you know and people might think it's boring whatever you want to whatever they want to think but it is the most effective way to play You're playing just smart it's just smart football you know it's not trying to rush forwards not trying to smash through balls through you know it's just trying to be clever don't always try and pass forwards if you get into attacking positions and the pass isn't there there's no problem with going sideways or going backwards and just holding on to possession eventually one thing i found that happens a lot is your opponent as you can see in this game happened you know, our opponent got a red card, they get frustrated, they make a silly tackle, they get someone sent off, and then it ends up being curtains. So making sure that you don't rush rush your attacks and just try and rush forwards all the time. And then the third big tip we've got for you today is to create high probability scoring chances. And again, this is something I see a lot of people do, and this is a great example. You see Cassania getting up the right-hand side, playing the ball into Mkhitaryan, and this is something you'll see a lot of people do, get into there with Pepe, and a lot of people would probably take the first option that we've selected here. They'd look to just slide that into Richarlison and then hopefully go on and score. But you can see Lacroix is in front. The chance of this being intercepted is really, really high. I've played this ball so many times in previous FIFAs, 
and I've seen a lot of people that have tried this on me and it gets intercepted pretty much 98 times out of 100 and then you maybe get countered, you concede, you think what the hell's going on or sometimes maybe people would ping it to the back post and you see I think we've got Bergwijn at the back post and maybe people try and cross it and you can see what we want to do to turn this from a low scoring opportunity to a high scoring opportunity we need to get Lacroix out of the way and how are we going to do that? We're going to go down the wing and we're going to look for a cutback to Richarlison because then that's going to allow us to have that high scoring opportunity because he's going to be tapping it into an empty net. And you can see that is exactly what Pepe does. He gets rid of Lacroix, distracts him. He makes it very easy because he goes to ground and uh, then we're able to just dribble past him very, very easily. And then Richarlison's got the empty net. And that is something that I don't see enough people do, um, especially people that are struggling in the game. And you can see just this is a great half of football that I played against this guy here. And you can just see all the things that we've just talked about. We're putting all those things into action. We're you know, making sure that we're creating those high scoring opportunities. We're not just shooting for the sake of it. And I see a lot of people that do things like they maybe beat a defender, they leave a defender and they get half a yard of space and they bang it and then the keeper makes a save and it's oh the keeper's amazing you know and it's it's not the fact that the keeper's amazing it's the fact that you've t actually taken a really poor shot and then it's allowed the the keeper to make the save and then you get the impression the keeper's really good because he's made loads of saves and in fact this is where i think the expected goals this year the uh, the stat the expected goal stat is actually going to be really helpful because it does give you an indication as to whether your shots that you're taking are actually good shots and reasonable shots to be taken. You see, again, the way we work that ball around, unfortunately, Havertz does get tackled there. But you can just see the way that we are managing to work the ball around the final third. And just watching, you know, how we're playing in this third, you can see just there, this guy is trying to rush forwards way too fast, you know, trying to trying to push forwards with Pogba. I don't know how he's got Pogba already in his team, but he's trying to push forward with Pogba. The rest of his team's not able to get there. We've then got Jota on the counter. And this is where, where skill moves. Nice fake shot on the inside. Jota then bangs it. And uh, it's 2-0. So that's where some skill moves can still be used for. You know, we did use the fake shot. I do use the ball roll from time to time. Heel-to-heel -heel flick can be very, very good. But the skill moves that we do use are a lot of the basic ones. But you can see most of the time when we're playing, we don't need it. Jota, nice roulette on the inside. And then just able to uh, to find that pass across to Richarlison. And then, unfortunately, the keeper does make a good save. That was actually a really poor shot for me. I should have actually shot far post. And that's sometimes that I see a lot of people do things like that. Maybe take a, pa a bad shot. And again, Richarlison, the ball roll on, this, on the inside, and that is a much better shot, that finesse shot to the far post. And that is just a much better example of how to attack rather than what we were doing previously. We took a really poor shot from Richarlison. So make sure that when you are attacking, you take a lot of these tips away. As I said, this is a lot of sort of basic things that probably any you know high level skill player probably will already be doing a lot of these things so this is kind of a tutorial a very simple attacking tutorial that's more for the the starters in fifa or just a lot of the basics just kind of get to grips with the basics and then we will get into some videos going forwards that are going to showcase some more attacking skills and more attacking techniques that you will need if you want to get into that higher difficulty but this is kind of more for the lower skilled players and just people that are maybe new to FIFA. So if you do enjoy the tutorial, make sure you drop a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe as well if you are new to the channel. But that is all today, guys. Have an awesome day. I'm out.